Hello students, uh, now I will take uh, integration by parts uh, related problem. Uh, first what is integration by parts? If an integrand contains two functions, product of two functions, x into secant square x, x is a one function and secant square x is another function, uh, we have to apply the rule of integration by parts because there is no product rule in uh, integration like in differential calculus. So what is uh, uh, integration by parts and how to apply integration by parts? Actually you can write this as let i equal to integral of x into secant square x dx which is equal to integral u dv. What is u? As per the i late rule, as per the i late rule, algebraic function and trigonometry, x is an algebraic function and uh, secant square x is a trigonometric functions. Therefore, this is u and this is dv, u and dv. So what is u equal to? u equal to x and uh, dv equal to secant square x dx. So what is du equal to? du equal to dx and v equal to integral of the right side that is secant square x dx which is equal to tan x secant square x dx that integral of secant square x is tan x. Now substitute in this formula, this formula is uv minus integral v du, uv minus integral v du. So what is uv? u is x and v is tan x. So which is equal to x into tan x minus v du, v du, v equal to tan x and du equal to dx. So tan x into dx which is equal to x into tan x minus integral tan x. So what is integral tan x? You know the formula? Yes, log cos x. So which is equal to log of cos x plus c. So this is the value of i. We can apply integration by parts if it has two functions, product of two functions. Uh, one fun how to select uh, the fu u function as u and the remaining function as dv based on the rule i late. So in i late i for al inverse trigonometric, l for logarithmic and a for algebraic and t for trigonometric and e for exponential function. So in this given integrand, algebraic function is uh, u and trigonometric secant square x dx is dv. Right here u and dv, from dv find v and from u find the du. Substitute in this formula u dv, integral u dv which is equal to uv minus integral v du, x into tan x minus v into du, tan x into dx as per the formula. This is a basic problem, uh, basic example for integration by parts. Now x into tan x minus log tan x minus integral of tan x dx. Next step, x into tan x minus integral tan x, integral tan x. So every time write the formula, integral of tan x dx equal to minus log of cos x plus c. So minus into minus plus log of cos x plus c, log of cos x plus c. Again I will explain now, the given question is x into secant square x dx, it has two functions. So you can apply integration by parts rule and uh, uh, the rule, uh, in that rule how to select u and v by using the i late concept, i for inverse trigonometric, l for logarithmic, a for algebraic function and t for trigonometric, e for exponential. So algebraic function is x and that is u. The remaining function is dv, right here u equal to x, dv equal to secant square x dx, v equal to integral of secant square x dx that is equal to tan x and du equal to dx. Now this is integral u dv as per the formula in integral u dv is uv minus integral v du which is equal to x into tan x minus integral tan x dx, okay. So integral tan x dx is minus log cos x that is equal to minus into minus plus. So this is the value of given question integral of x into secant square x dx.
So, another example for integration by parts, integral of log x dx solution, let i equal to integral of log x dx. Here integrand contains only one function, but here also we can apply, we have to apply integration by parts rule, reason is this function is not directly integrable. When we can apply integral, uh, integration by parts under two situation, one is <coughs> it has product of two functions, another one is single function which is not directly integrable, okay, that is very important. So, here we can write this as log x into 1 into dx. So, u equal to log x dv equal to dx. So, what is v? v equal to x, v equal to x. Then what is du? du equal to 1 by x dx, 1 by x dx. So, which is equal to integral of u dv equal to u v minus integral v du, which is equal to u v. What is u v? x into log x minus v du, v equal to x and du. What is du equal to? 1 by x dx, which is equal to x log x minus integral dx, which is equal to x log x minus x plus c. So, taking x outside log of x minus 1 plus c. So, this is the value of i, value of i. Even though it has only one function, we can apply integration by parts rule because this function is not directly integrable. So, assume the uh, function which is not directly integrable as u and introduce 1, that 1 into dx as dv, then apply the integration by parts rule. Now, you know the technique, how to apply integration by parts whenever the function integrand has only one function which is not directly integrable. Hello students, now I will teach another type of uh, example for integration by parts rule. Uh, if you see the question, uh, integral of sin inverse of x dx, the integrand contains only one function, but here also you have to apply integration by parts rule. What is the reason? As I already uh, explained the concept, even though it has single function, you have to apply integration by parts because this function is not directly integrable, okay. So, you have to follow the rule. Let i equal to integral of sin inverse of x dx, <coughs> okay. We can prove this problem by two ways, but I will first I will prove by using a substitution method uh, put sin inverse of x equal to t, x equal to sin t, dx equal to cos t dt dx equal to cos t dt. Therefore, this becomes sin inverse of x is t dx, dx equal to cos t dt. Now, see it has two functions, product of two functions. Now, apply the integration by parts rule. Algebraic function is u and the remaining function is dv. So, u equal to t and uh, dv equal to cos t dt, cos t dt. So, what is differentiate here? The differential of this and integral of this v equal to integral of cos equal to sin t, sin t, okay. Therefore, this becomes, this becomes u v. What is u v? u integral of u dv equal to u v minus integral v du. So, what is u v? u into v t into sin t minus v du. So, what is v du? Sin t dt, which is equal to t into sin t minus integral sin x. Integral sin x is minus cos x minus cos t plus c. The final answer is t into sin t plus 
cos t plus c cos t plus c even though this function has only one uh, integrand has only one function first apply substitution method this is substitution method uh, <coughs> substitution method using substitution method uh, this becomes like this uh, product of two function the original integrand contains only one function after substitution it contains two functions algebraic and trigonometric now you can apply the integration by parts as per the regular formula substitute here then simplify this now you know the technique how to integrate inverse trigonometric integral of inverse trigonometric functions hello students now i'll uh, teach one some uh, uh, which is under integration by parts rule uh, in two level that is very important why it is two level because the degree of x square is and hence it is uh, two times we have to apply integration by parts. The given question is integral of x square sin x dx as per I late rule law. So, u equal to <coughs> u equal to x square dv equal to sin x dx. So, what is du equal to x square du equal to 2 x dx and v equal to integral of sin x dx which is equal to minus cos x. Therefore, I becomes integral of u dv which is equal to u v minus integral v du v du which is equal to u v u into v. So, x square into minus x square into minus uh, minus x square cos x minus integral of v minus into minus minus cos x into 2 x dx which is equal to minus x square cos x minus into minus plus 2 into x cos x dx again apply integration by parts let u1 equal to x dv1 equal to cos x dx cos x dx ok now differentiate u and integrate v so du1 equal to dx and v1 equal to integral of cos x dx so, what is integral of cos x dx? Integral of cos x is nothing but sin x. Therefore, I becomes what is I becomes minus x square cos 2 x plus twice of u 1 v 1 minus integral v 1 d u 1 as for the formula. Okay. So, which is equal to minus x square cos 2 x plus twice of u 1 v 1 u 1 v 1 equal to x sin x minus integral v 1 d 1 sin x d x sin x d x. Okay. This is level 2 integration by parts now which is equal to minus x square cos 2 x plus 2 x sin x minus 2 into integral of sin x is minus cos x. So, plus cos x plus c. So, this is a solution for the given question. Here we are applying integration by parts twice. This is level 1 and this is level 2 integration by part. The reason is here it is second degree. Now, you know the technique uh, whenever the algebraic expression degree is 2, another function is any other function like trigonometric exponential like that you can apply integration integrating by parts two times. Therefore, I becomes minus x square cos x minus <coughs> plus twice of integral of u 1 d v 1 u d u 1 d v 1 
which is equal to minus x square cos x plus pi is of u1 v1 minus v1 du1. Now this is equal to minus x square cos x plus pi is of u1 v1. So this is u1 and this is v1. Therefore, x into sin x minus sin x into dx minus x square cos x plus 2x sin x minus twice of integral of sin x is minus cos x plus c which is equal to minus x square cos x plus 2x sin x plus 2 cos x plus c. This is the final answer. Now you know the technique how to apply integration by parts two times whenever the given integrand has second degree algebraic expression.